Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent, bringing you episode one of a new Let's Play. Um, rather than playing just the same game over and over again, I like to branch out and play different things. And basically, sometimes I get a, an urge to go through my Steam games, buy some new ones, uh, look through what I own, and just install kind of a bunch of stuff that I find interesting and that I'm eventually going to look at. And that's what we're doing today. We're just picking another game. Uh, this is a game called Spirit of Adventure. I really know nothing about it, except that it's pretty old school uh, in design, but I think it's a modern game. I'm not sure exactly. But uh, we're going to get into it and um, just consider these like mini Let's Plays not really going the full distance, just kind of checking out the game and seeing what it's about. It is a DOS game. Please select your graphic card. Uh, VGA? Please type start to start an adventure. Okay. Please select your intro sound. Sound blaster? Whoa. Starbite. Cool music. Cool intro. I don't know if this is new or not. If they did, they certainly kept it retro. Whoa. Hmm. Spirit of Adventure. Just lighting a cigarette up here, guys. Okay, I'll click the mouse, or click the space bar, and end the hum. Okay, we're at the monastery options. Create character, add members, create a character first. Talk to principal. Oops, there are any characters in your party. Okay, let's go ahead and create a character. Um, ooh, this looks interesting. Uh, I lost my mouse. Oh, type name. Um, how about Matthew? Then we've got select class, magician. Oh, this is cool. Oh, wait. I messed it up. So we click create character. We type in a name. Then we have to pretty much go with what we buy. A samurai, a banshee, and this is a class, race. Um, shoot, I guess I'll be a samurai. <laughs> Ordinary. Those would be my stats. Magic skill, merge. 18 strength, 10 dex, 3 IQ, 4 charisma. A Tedesian, which I can't click. Uh, do I actually have to retry? Samurai Tedesian would have chameleon, much higher IQ and charisma, low dexterity. Okay, let's retry and make a samurai dice with much better IQ and charisma, low strength, a good mind and magic and a magic skill chameleon. And then if we retry and do an Olany, that's the highest magical type, turbo magic skill. Okay, so I'm going to be a Samurai Dice. I think that's pretty good. Magic Skill Obstacle, so it changes. Oh, your stats actually change. They re-roll when you hit retry. Interesting. Um, 15 decks. So we'll just go with that. Merge, accept. Okay, then we type another name. 
Paula, Paula, um, goddess, uh, Tadesian, regen magic skill, two dexterity. <laughs> Look at that lion, that is crazy. Someone actually made this. Let's go with, um, an Amazon actually. Ordinary. Ordinary. Magic skill wielder. That looks good. We'll accept that. Then we'll have Samdara. And they'll be a priest, perhaps? A priest dice. Respite. Sure. Then how about Lexus will be a Banshee? Tadesian? Him for vision, 15 strength, okay. Then we'll have Igora. Be a fairy, maybe? A fairy Alani. Healer. Very nice. And then we'll have, finally, Paduke. Paduke. Be a magician. And he'll be a dice. Aura. Looks good to me. Isn't that six? All right, now we add members. We add Matthew, Paula, Samdara, Alexis, Igora, Poduke. Wait, remove Samdara and Lexus and add. Lexus and Samdara. All right, there's our six. Let's talk to Principal. Welcome, dear heroes. I am Rowena, Lady Superior of Moon City. Just a few words before I leave you to your adventures, for I think I am in need of your valiant services. La Marge, as you might already know, has been afflicted by a sort of a lethal disease, a fairly dangerous drug called Opatar. Opatar is spread all over the country, addicting everybody tasting it. La Marge is going to drown in its own vices. Since you have proven yourselves as experienced heroes, I ask you to help me and all the people living in La Marge. Go find the one who calls himself the Dream Master, who enslaves every human being in this world. Go destroy his evil reign, for you have the guts to defeat this faceless emperor. If you will succeed in your quest, you will be rewarded with whatever treasure you can think of. To help you on this dangerous quest, let me give you some of my items, which I hope may be of help to you. Farewell, my dear friends. Okay. So we can save game. Okay. Um, let's see. If I click Matthew, I can move him around. Uh, let's exit the monastery. I don't know if the sound messed up or what. There should probably be sound here. Let me go ahead and uh, what is this? Holy Park. How do I exit the game? Alt F4? Alt F4 does not exit the game. Let's go ahead and X that out. And X that out. Okay. So let's try again and see if we get sound this time. We have to go through this again. And 
imagine their sound. I'm trying to click through it. But again, it ends on that. That low note, and um, okay. Go ahead and load the game. There we are. Exit the monastery and let's check things out here. Holy Park. Um, okay, I can move them around. Oops. Can I right click them? No. Can I do anything at all? Inventory C, J, K, escape A. I'm pressing every letter on the keyboard. the hell out of here, man says forcefully. <laughs> um, Leave me be, someone shouts at you. It looks like there's supposed to be more stuff down here. If I alt-enter... F1, F2, F3, F4. <clears throat> I don't know how to actually do anything. Hmm. Maybe there is no screen. Leave me be. Main Street. The Circle. How do I find places that I can go into? Suddenly you find yourself threatened by three dwarves. Okay, fight. Set options. Choose option for Matthew. Body fight. Body fight. Body fight. Parry. Parry. Mind fight. Wow. Um, run. The monsters don't let me run away. I should probably read the manual, huh? Okay, we ran at least. I can use the arrows, which is much easier. Get the hell out of here. Epitaph Avenue. Hmm. 
A lot of streets and stuff. I don't think I can help you any further, strangers, the man utters. A lot of streets. Um, backspace? This thing? Double click. Okay. Wow. Okay, more. Magic skills, skills, and tongues, human, magic skills merge. Runes are nice. And he skills wielder. Let's go back. Broadsword. Okay, so Matthew. Map to Luzia. Double click. A map can't be equipped at all. Can I double click the uh, dagger? Okay, now it's equipped. Wooden shield? Equipped. Stiff leather? Chainmail, equipped. Stiff leather equipped, okay. So let's give the iron shield to Lexus and the chainmail to Lexus. And let's go ahead and use a body potion. Fortunately, I haven't grown enough hands yet. Oh, we've got to unequip the shield. So this is much like gold box. Okay, Lexus. Oh, I mean, I gave her the wrong stuff. I meant to give this to Paula. The broadsword, equip the chainmail, equip the iron shield. Lexus equip the dagger. Samdara has a dagger. Cora has a dagger. And Poduk has a dagger. And aura and human. Can I cast or oh, equip aura? Equip respite. Equip him for vision. Equip wielder. Tongues we have to equip. No. And equip merge. Runes. They're just there. All right, um, map can't be equipped at all. Okay, so escape. How do we get out of here? Double click more. Look back. Somehow we're missing the controls for this game. Oh. Well. 
really should read the manual. Oh. Okay, so Matthew, how do I use the body potion? Q got me out of there. So there seems like a lot of stuff to the game. And it's very old school. There's different tongues. Back at the Holy Park. Come in here. Um, talk to Principal again. Can't give you any more new information, my dear friends. Exit the monastery. Hi, strangers. Slender Man in Shining Armor is greeting us. My name's Brandon Sabretooth. Seems you're foreign, are you? Well, never mind. If there's anything I can do for you, just let me know. Brandon is conscientiously checking his equipment. Talk to him. So, what is your interest on it, adventurers? On his adventures, equipment. Really don't know anything of interest about that, is the answer. Um, map. Crystal maps are rare these days. I once had one, but I've been robbed, and so it is gone. One should not dare to enter the wilderness without a map, and that's why I still roam Moon City. Brandon explains. Um, gear. Weapons. Armor. Potions, quest, job, name, um, talk, help, uh, the heck am I supposed to ask him? What is your interest? Wilderness. Exit. Hmm. The mistletoe. Not going to buy anything. I don't see any shops unless this would be it. No. Gangway Forum Nipper's Grip Get the hell out of here. I guess maybe we'd have to go in every single door and find out which one does something. Unless we can use a map somehow. Hmm. Um, I press every key and I can't figure out how to bring up the map. Hmm. 
Don't know. Gnomes, run. All right, set option, um, use options. Gnome fires a ball but misses. Ball he hits a gnome. Wow, the gnome is dead. So is Lexus. Five gnomes run. I feel like I could actually get into this once I get my... Once I read the manual, basically, because I didn't know that we'd have to read the manual for this. But it certainly seems promising, I think. Maybe we can kill this magic lord. We got a lot of smoke. Matthew's dead. <clears throat> Fight. Use options. I don't know if... I know there's a way to even scroll this faster. The Magic Lord is dead. Treasure. Hi guys, remember me? Brandon. Brandon Sabretooth, the fearless one. A man in gleaming armor is calling out. Constance is checking his equipment. What happened to the treasure? Did Igor pick it up? Or did I accidentally click through it? I think I accidentally quick clicked through it. We left the treasure behind. Dang. Yeah, I'll actually read the manual next episode. Oh, you're still hanging around here. Brandon Sabretooth welcomes us smiling. Looks like you sort of like this town, don't you? <clears throat> Pathetic walk. Road to madness. Hideaway. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and try to read the manual. And then we can have a much better display of what we can do in this game. Yeah. I'm not doing it any favors by just playing incredibly poorly. Oh, forum. Holy Park. One skull spider will fight it. Cool graphics and stuff. See if we can kill it. <laughs> hmm.
Let's set our options. You body fight, body fight, body fight. Kill this thing and get some treasure. Twenty six points of damage did not kill it. Wow. Skull Spider's dead. Party wins. Each member gets 7 XP. The party found 0 pieces of gold. Okay. My sense of direction is terrible. Maybe these ways, ha maybe these houses have a purpose later. Hmm. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to stop here. Because I can't really figure out too much of the game. Um, it's a huge town. Um, we'll find a map and stuff next time. So anyway, that was uh, certainly interesting, I think. But yeah, we'll definitely read the manual next time and then check it out. I think it has potential. Five different languages. Seems to have some gear you can equip, some different stats and stuff. Very much like an old gold box or Realms of Arcania type of game. We'll check it out more, so stay tuned for that. Uh, I want to thank you for joining me. Do hope you enjoyed this mess of an episode. <laughs> Uh, stay tuned, much more to come and I'm going to check out some other games and uh, much love, peace and joy to you guys as always, take care and yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, check out the manual next time, so long okay guys let me just uh, say something here at the end I found the manual to this game thanks to a nice Steam forum post there is a lot to this game and all the information is here you can build rune spells, and there's so much crazy stuff in this game, like all these magic skills. You learn spells. There's all these runes. It is wild. There's a lot to this game. I had no idea. I thought this was a modern uh, retro type game, but it is the real deal retro, and there is a lot to this man and there i found a map um here's a map of moon city with all the things listed it this game is crazy and i want to give it a full ringing endorsement man like maybe maybe if you guys want let me know in the comments and i can go over the manual next episode and we can see how this thing really works um I think this map is more of a special item rather than a map that we actually look at in the game. But uh, we can see how more of this stuff works. And, um... If we press E... Should be some way to... There, E, enter. Can't equip an item which is not identified yet. You go, you click E, and then you press down and click Enter, and it'll equip. So that's another way to do it. There's little 
tricks like that in the game. Um, but yeah, do not, you know, I showed this game poorly for 30 minutes, but there is a lot to this and it's a full fledged CRPG. I may play this if I get into that manual and dig around because this is interesting to me. Hopefully it's interesting to you guys too. Um, anyway, thank you for joining me. Uh, if you want to see more, let me know. And we can actually do an LP of this perhaps and uh, get into it. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Much love, peace, and joy once again. Flew and out.